the ocean's most feared predators, sharks, responsible for 19 attacks on humans just this year. While fin tags reveal where sharks travel, there's one question that has vexed marine biologists. Well, the ultimate goal, the holy grail of sort of shark science is really understanding where moms are giving birth. Dr. James Silikowski wanted to answer that, and he chose to study one of the ocean's most aggressive sharks, the tiger shark. Like all science, he told me it begins with a hypothesis. There could be a hotspot where tiger sharks are, are going, and then the babies are sort of dispersing from that. So finding out where this is could not only help save humans, but also sharks as well. Save us humans because we might end up swimming where the sharks are. Where these big moms are coming in, right. Scientists from Discovery Shark Week went in search of pregnant sharks. Rather than hook and drag a shark to the surface in hopes it might be pregnant, these scientists documented a first in water ultrasounds on tiger sharks. Remember, sharks are not tame. It's terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. And tiger sharks are known to attack humans. Tiger sharks are one of the top three, uh, I guess, man eaters. And so it's really scary getting in the water when you think that in the back of your mind. After finding a pregnant tiger and even seeing the teeth of the unborn pups. An in-water trick worthy of the world's most accomplished obstetrician, inserting the transmitter into one of the shark's two uteruses. Again, Discovery's Shark Week cameras captured that never-before-achieved procedure. Like, it was a struggle from the very beginning, and it all came down to, you know, the need to really push the science to the next level. The chaotic moments of science in action, made safer by accomplished shark handler, Jamin Martinelli. Were you ever scared down there? I was never scared. If you're gonna do something, do it now! I can't believe you put your hands on the snout and redirected a 12-foot tiger shark. It's not that hard to do, but once you do it, you realize that kind of putting your hand there, it just calms them as long as you're calm. Once the transmitter was inserted, the teams waited, and waited and waited. Does that device that looks like an egg in any way hurt the mother shark or the babies? That's the beauty of all this. There's nothing on it, it's not sharp, so it just sits there like this little object that mom's carrying around with her and she doesn't even know it. Four months of waiting and then the transmitter pinged. It worked just as they hoped. Dr. Silikowski showed us how it worked at Odyssey Aquarium in Arizona. This tag is inside the uterus. It sits in there with the mom's pups until she's ready to give birth. And when she gives birth, the pups come out, and this tag, when it comes out, gives us the exact location of where she gave birth. The tiger shark nursery grounds that until now was unknown, discovered. The mystery finally solved. So where is this all going on? Well, not really too far, just a distance from where I am because sharks travel thousands of miles off the coast of South Carolina in Folly Beach. So if you're there, the advice from the experts is perhaps, and Craig, you're from South Carolina, yeah. keep your distance in, uh, give a little <laughs> distance to the sharks, especially in spring when they're giving birth. You know, there's a lot more information about this on Discovery Shark Week program called Mother Sharker, but really this is a significant breakthrough, all from that incredible piece of technology that popped to the surface and revealed a long-held secret. Well, Folly is a, it's a fantastic yeah. beach. I'm not surprised that tiger sharks are going there to, to you know, have their kids. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.